Hello, everyone. You're listening to WSBF FM Clemson. You're here tonight with WSBF Live Sessions and Tides in Transit. Whenever you guys are ready, we can kick this off. This first song is called Chemicals. Well, I know I'm a lost soul Just seeking comfort in chemicals But even through these clouds of smoke I know, I know song is called uh, I Still Remember.
awesome job, you guys. Thank you very much again for coming into the studio today. Uh, go ahead and uh, tell me a little bit about yourselves. When did you guys form? Where'd you get the name Tides in Transit? Uh, have you always been around the area? Have you moved here? Um, we What's actually, uh, this guy over here, McCain, I got all that reverb or echo going <laughs> on. I don't know if that's okay or not. But uh, McCain and I have known each other since high school. We were in bands. And uh, he knew Jesse, and I've just played with them a couple of times. I was uh, in the Air Force, and when I got out, I wanted to start a band. I knew I wanted these two guys. And I heard this guy singing, and I thought he had the voice of an angel. So <laughs> I wanted him to come sing. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Chris, I think you knew Chris, right? And okay, so then yeah, cool. th- and then uh, Nate just kind of came up on stage one night when we were playing a show. It was like <laughs> our first show, and uh, sang, and that was kind of it. He cool. came in. It's, I was doing a little backup, but uh, I can't do what he does. <laughs> He's phenomenal. Very cool. Uh, so very uh, kind of organic forming. Yeah, and uh, uh, you it's say. it really just each person just kind of fit, and just it just felt perfect. You know, Chris came in, it just felt right. You know, it sounded crazy yeah. having three guitars, <laughs> but. It, it just all I think works. it's cool, man. Yeah, Three guitars, great. shredding all over the place. It's <laughs> cool. Uh, so what are some places that you like to play uh, around town, around the upstate? What are some of your favorite venues? Um, well, there was a place called Soundbox Tavern. Unfortunately, it's I think it's recently closed down. But uh, Radio Room, they just moved over, and that's, that's one of our places, yeah. places to go to for sure. Yeah, I always love going to the Radio Room. It's got a great place, and they just got that new new spot, and it's a lot yeah, bigger, a lot yeah. yeah, the new spot, we, we, it's where we actually did our uh, EP release at. Oh, yeah. So it was a really cool show, too. So you guys just put out the EP. What is that called? Tides in Transit. It's <laughs> a self, <laughs> self-titled EP? Yeah. EP? Yeah. All right. Very cool. Uh, so the scene in Greenville is changing a lot, uh, just with a lot of new bands popping up. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of venues shutting down. There's some uh, coming up. Uh, Greenville and the upstate is really in like a weird spot. Uh, it's like in a weird transition zone. It's been zone, like that it for a long like. time. I feel like, and yeah, it's, it just seems that now that we're the Green was kind of grasping that okay, well, we had this really awesome music scene and these great bands, and you know they're starting to put together some venues that are hopefully going to build upon that. You know, yeah, um, it's really cool. It's really great to see around the community and see like how all the different bands are kind of like working together as well. Like, yeah, uh, everybody's friends with each other and whatnot. Um, where do you see do you see it going anywhere like getting a lot bigger and becoming like the Austin of the East Coast or do you see it like kind of being this kind of tucked away secret of South Carolina? Well, I mean Greenville's getting a lot of yeah. It's yeah, just Greenville and upstate. Like the, the place to go visit, you know. So. Yeah. I think it's definitely growing to that point. For sure. And it's cool cuz we get, you know, the scene up in Asheville and you know we're we're kind of feeding off that too, I yeah. feel like. So Cool. Well, uh when we're ready, I'm Ready for another song? Awesome. This, uh, this next song is kind of a newer one that we wrote. It's called C'est la vie. The smell of smoke from behind closed doors reminds me of the time of
this next song is um, it's actually the first song that we ever wrote as a band. Uh, it's called The Words.
Very cool, very cool. Great job, guys. It is getting hot in here. All this jamming, man. I'm feeling it, man. My hair is getting poofy. Uh, so let's talk about influences. There's six of you in this band. Uh, so do you guys take from like a huge range, or do you kind of like meet up and you're like, okay, this is what Tyson Transit needs to sound like? Um, I mean, we do we do all draw from a lot of different places. Um, one of my personal favorites is Dance Gavin Dance, and I know a lot of the other guys in the band like that. Um, but we really enjoy like um, progressive alternative stuff. You know, anything that's kind of does their own thing gets a little weird. Mm -hmm. like, um, I know a lot of us were really into Thrice. Um, anybody else got some suggestions? Cool. Uh, one, of, one of the cool things actually is uh, we're all kind of coming from different areas too. Like I like love the day Matthews band, John Mayer, and all this bluesy side. And then, like you said, Incubus and Third Eye Blind. I know it's one that we all like. So. It's really cool because it's like a melting pot of all these different yeah. genres, and it's it somehow works, and it's become like a progressive alternative th sound. Mm -hmm. You know, we really love it though. It's very cool, very unique. Yeah. Uh, so you guys take some influences from music, but uh, I've noticed sometimes bands take music for, or take inspiration from things other than music. Uh, you mentioned a melting pot. Do you guys take any inspiration from types of food? Do you guys have a favorite type of food that you would say your music is like? Tacos? <laughs> hard, or, hard or soft tacos? That's the question. Soft tacos. <laughs> I was about to say shrimp and grits. So, <laughs> um, do you guys have any plans for the future? Any touring plans? Uh, working on new material after the EP? Um, I'm actually a student here, so. Oh, really? <laughs> Go if tigers. it happens, I'll have to peace out for just a minute, I guess. But uh, yeah. Yeah, no, we, I mean, obviously, I feel like the, the next step here after, you know, releasing the EP would be maybe to try to get on some type of, like, small tour and, you know, kind of get our music more out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so before your last song, mm -hmm. I have one question uh, that we ask every single band that comes through the WSBF studio. Uh, it's a very important question. Uh, there's only two possible answers, and everyone takes a turn answering it. Uh, you can go one way or the other. It's either A or B. You can't choose both. You can't choose neither. You can't say, well, kind of this way, kind of the other. You have to choose one the, one way or the other. It's a forked road. I'm very nervous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's a very important question. Um, so we'll we'll start on this side of the room. Um, <laughs> the question is, heady or brutal? Heady. Heady or brutal? Heady? Definitely heady. I mean, look at me. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. Brutal all day. Brutal. So is that four brutals and two heavy? It's the two gingers, you know. All right. <laughs> well, on that note, let's uh, let's let's hear your last song. Let's go. Yeah, this song is definitely a lot heavier than uh, <laughs> the last four that we did. It's called uh, Lady in White.
Why won't you see?